Welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship 2007, everybody. So in the last episode, we went ahead and arrived at the level 2 duelist. So I'm going to go ahead and duel this one first. Hill to the Fire Charmer, just to kind of see what we got, you know? Well, we will see. We will see. I'm still eating bread, by the way. Oh my god, this is bad. I don't mean to do this, but I'm freaking hungry. I apologize. Okay. Hmm. That's interesting. I guess I'll do that, sure. To be honest, it might, it might be the most useful thing. It sucks that I got no monsters, but I did get scapegoat at least, so that's pretty decent, you know? So I will take it. Ha 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 That's hilarious. Um, I mean, I gotta use this to defend myself. Get rid of Mystic Box. Holy shit. Here's the thing. I don't really think I want to do it right now. I'd rather just you kill my sheep. That Blazing Apache, man. That freaking... I mean, Familiar Possessed is also... Man, he's beatdown decks. Two 1850 attackers already, and it's only tier two in the game? You gotta be kidding me, man. Like, it's ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. Um, so I have Dust Tornado and Compulsory Evacuation Device. Well, that's not good. Should I even hammer shot in that case? You might... Might be helpful. TBH. TBH. I'm gonna get rid of this thing. And then end a the turn. Oh my god. I mean, I have a dust tornado, but there's almost no point in doing this right now, you know? Okay, I want you to attack my Sangin so I can get something decent going on here, you know? Let's see. Hmm. To be honest, I think Maneater Bug will be the best to utilize here. Okay, let's see what I can draw, though. That's not exactly what I was looking for. I'm just going to go ahead and keep that card in my hand in that case until I get something else. Oh, jeez. This is a problem. Um, that thing can attack me directly. This is basically an upgraded fire deck from what I see, but I've, I really got a shitty hand, though. I, I got no monsters. None of my beatdown monsters in the beginning, you know? Okay, I'm gonna do that. Here's the thing, though. Do I destroy the freaking baseball kit, or do I... I think it makes more sense to destroy the baseball kit because, you know what, do do it. Despite the Impachi still getting an attack, I think it's smarter to do that. Wait, actually, no, I'm dumb. No, never mind, the Impachi did it. What? Oh my god, dude, what the fuck is this shuffling? This is horrible. This is absolutely terrible. I'm not getting anything good. I haven't gotten a single beatdown monster in this entire duel. Out of like, of over a fourth of my deck already, I think. Or about, I don't know. Dude, I seriously don't want to use my Compulsory Evacuation Device right now, but... And part of the reason why I don't, is because that's an extra spell card that Mage Power can get a bonus from, and I kind of need that. Oh, God. The other problem is the fact that this guy has two face down cards. And if w even one of those is a trap that attacks me, that destroys me when I attack, then I'm screwed. Oh. My. God. You have got to be kidding me. This is ridiculous. This is fucking ridiculous. What the... I mean, I, I, mean, I have to go for I gotta use this, you know, I have no choice, but... Not that it really matters, because then you can, you know what, it's better to get rid of this guy, so you can restart your freaking 1,000 attack bonus. 
This is like the worst freaking luck I've had in, in like any duel. And of course, out of out of any freaking duel, it of course happens on a tier two duel, you know, where I actually need not shitty luck to actually win. Jesus Christ. I mean, here's the thing, do I take the damage? Or do I use Composer Evacuation Device? Because it goes back to the hand, I don't- also, what- Why didn't this guy summon his freaking Raging Flame Sprite? Didn't he draw that? Or am I being stupid? I don't know. Please draw a monster. Thank god. Now here's a problem though, and it's probably gonna happen, unfortunately. He's gonna have a trap. He's gonna have a trap for me, but you know what, by this point, I gotta go for it. I have no choice. I have to do it. I knew it. I freaking knew it. Told you. Told you. I knew it. I mean, there was no way. I mean, he wasn't using those cards for anything, you know? So, I figured. I could still win if he doesn't summon another monster. Actually, yes, I could still win. I'll take the damage from you. We basically have to return Blazing and Pachi back. Wait, who just attacked? Well, I'm gonna use this on Blazing and Pachi regardless. Okay, so I'm still in the duel, but I mean, the chances are pretty slim to win. We're pretty much non-existent, you know, who knows? You tributed? Oh, no, I lost. Yeah, okay. Wait, man, okay. There was an intense spike up in difficulty, I just noticed. Um, I mean, obviously a big part of it was me getting terrible luck with not drawing even one monster until I finally got Luster Dragon. Um, but even so, if I didn't get bad luck, I still think that duel would have been quite a struggle to deal with. Let me just take on someone else for now. I just, I just kind of want to gauge this whole thing, you know, like what's happening. I should have gone second. Why, why did I just put first? I don't know. Okay, let's see what you got. Um, I'm just gonna use this. Use scapegoat. I mean, I'd rather do that instead of summoning a monster right now in this first turn. I'm also gonna go ahead and set this card and end the turn. All right, let's see if I can even beat one of you freaking people, man. That's a new Doria, okay. Um, you know what? I'm gonna activate this only because your effect only activates when you're destroyed by battle. Okay, you set one card. So far, this is a little easier. The other freaking duel. Oh my god. 1850 beatdown monsters, Sakuretsu armor, ring of destruction. Oh my god. Some crazy cards. Karibo, whatever. I don't really care. Discard that crap. Goblin King? That's fine. Get rid of one of my... I need some space anyway. Okay, I actually forgot that guy's effect though. I need to read that. Because I actually do not have any fucking clue what that is. I mean, I've seen it, but I don't know. Okay. I'm gonna move the Mothers on the field, excluding this card. Wait, how did you destroy... If you have zero attack and you destroy- uh, and you attack a zero defense monster, the monster gets destroyed? Really? Oh wait, no, it has a thousand. Wait, why is it saying that aside itself? Attack become- it says excluding this card. Oh, on the wait, no, on your side of the field, no, no, no. Oh no, on the field, that's, okay, this is a fiend, that's why, okay, I was so confused, holy crap, okay, that makes sense. Alright, so don't summon another fiend, don't be dumb and summon this guy, but instead I gotta summon this guy, because he's not a fiend. Okay. I was so confused, I was like, wait a minute, shouldn't your attack be zero? But no. Okay. So you can go ahead and attack this thing, that, what the hell is that? What was that? I don't know what that does. Let me read that. Uh, okay. Pay life points. 
to decrease one and then... Oh, that's, that's fine. I mean, you just lost life points and now you don't have a face down. So you're screwed. You are screwed, man. Another curry. I mean, whatever. Get rid of your cards. I don't care. The more cards you get rid of, the easier it is for me because you have less in your hand. Giant germ. Okay. I have birthright. Not going to use it right now. There's no point. Alright. And now it's my turn. So yes, I could actually use birthright. Oh, that's Mask of the Accursed. Uh, the thing is, I don't really need to use it now because I can actually just freaking destroy it, you know? I'm actually going to use that plus birthright to bring back my other Whiptail Crow. Now I have three monsters. So each of these giant germs will actually deal 500 damage to me when they, when they get destroyed. And you actually get to special summon more giant germs in face of attack position from your deck. There we go, same. So I'm going to take some more damage here, but you know what? You're also taking damage as well, so that's fine. Basically, it's the opposite of Nimble Mamanga, although it honestly should have done inflicting a thousand damage, like Nimble Mamanga heals you a thousand. So that's why Nimble Mamanga is actually a little bit more widely used, you know? And end of turn. Okay. We're pretty even in life points, but I feel like I have a lot more of an advantage right now with cards. Judgment of Anubis, I will go ahead and set that card face down. And... Battle phase. I'm gonna attack with you because you have piercing. Mask of Darkness, what trap card could you possibly have? Bark of the Dark Ruler, I'm guessing? Yep, it was, okay. And that's actually game, unless you have another Karibo. Which I don't think so. Yep, that's it. That's it. Alright, so this one was much more formidable for, for me, not crazy, you know? 140 for Duelist Bonus, not bad, not bad. I mean, might as well buy a pack. Um, the thing is, I have to do a cut though because I actually have to leave right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and meet you. I don't even know if I'm gonna keep recording t uh, today, so there might be another abrupt cut to this. There, there could be, who knows. Give me this one. I haven't really done anything with this pack. I'm just trying out all the different packs to see what's available in each one. Gather your mind. Go Mass Driver, that card is banned. Uh, pretty bad. Pretty bad pack. I think the Mass Driver is banned, but whatever. Alright, so, yeah, I'll meet you all in a little bit. One sec. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that abrupt cut, people. But anyway, um, I, it's actually been another day now, but it's still the same episode, and I actually had some time to duel the same duelist um, a couple times until I won five more times or so. Yeah, pretty interesting. But um, let me go ahead and take on... Let's see here. I'm going to duel you now, okay? Let's see what you got. Yeah, you know, just keep dueling and dueling. Um, you got to keep dueling, got to keep grinding, got to keep opening up some more packs, you know? That is generally how you get some better cards. Okay, let's see here. So, yeah, you can already see a new card that I added, Ninja Grandmaster Sasuke. That is another 1800 beat stick. With an additional effect that's not incredibly useful, but it could be useful sometimes. Um, if this card attacks a face up defense position monster, destroy the monster with this card's effect without applying damage calculation. Basically, it's like Sasuke Samurai, except it's face up defense. To be honest, attacking face down defense is usually more common because it's rare to see an opponent, uh, an opponent's monster in that position, the, you know, face, face up defense. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and summon, I'll summon Do Name's Dark Witch. And simply attack. That is a giant soldier of stone. Oh my god, okay. Um, what I will do is go to main phase two and set down offerings to the doomed, being a quick play spell card. Okay. Oh, thank god I didn't use... Okay. Oof. What is that? Is that... Oh, shoot. Air and I Parshoth. That, that was a fantastic card when it first came out way back in the day. Basically, it has piercing, and anytime it inflicts battle damage, they get to draw one card. Wow. 
I actually will use offerings to Doomed. Skip my draw phase uh, for destroying you, heck yeah. Alright, and I'm gonna go ahead and summon... I'll summon X-Head Cannon this time. Let's see if you have any uh, trap cards. And you don't. Okay, I'm gonna inflict some nice 3600 damage to you. Not bad, not bad. Alright, end phase. Let's see what you got now. You're down to 4400 life points already, almost halfway through. Oh no. Graceful Charity? Shit. Uh, you still didn't really make much of that. I mean, actually, yes, you did. That's a lot of face down cards. Okay, um. Crap. I almost wanna. Oh shit, what if you have a freaking mirror force, man? You know what? I'm gonna summon Sasuke. Because here's the thing. Oh my god, I feel like I should have put one of these in defense mode. What is that? What the hell is that? What? Oh, that's widespread ruin? Oh, why does it look a lot different then? Oh, damn, that's a different. Okay. Uh, destroy one monster with the highest attack. Um, okay, that's fine. Um, I will attack with you. That's a giant germ. Okay. Um, I've actually already seen this monster quite a lot in the Dark Ruler Hades deck that I've already dueled five or six times. Basically, it inflicts 500 damage to me. And you get to special summon up to two more giant germs and face up attack position on your side. And I lose 500 for each. Okay, done. Call of the Haunter. That's gonna bring back Air Knight Parshoth, unfortunately. Shit. And it's gonna make you draw an additional card. God damn it. At least you attack that one. I mean, I'd rather keep Ninja Grandmaster Sasu because of its effect. You never know. Okay, now you get to draw one card, main phase two, You're setting a monster, oh boy. You know what, um... Hmm... Should I? Crap. Honestly, I'm just gonna attack. Attack the spare on... I use it on you, actually. I think that makes more... Oh, what the heck? Crap. Crap. Well, that was Mystical Space Typhoon. So let me see what I'm gonna do here. I got a couple options. I have these two. If I use Back to Square One, I'm forced to discard Mystic Box, and then I can bring that one back. But then you're just gonna sacrifice the next turn. And if this card is too weak... Sorry. Sorry. If my attacks are too weak to destroy that, you're gonna sacrifice it next turn for that again. If I use Mystic Box, I keep back to square one. I will move Axe Raider over there. You know what? I think Mystic Box is actually the better bet. Destroy that. And I'm going to give you Axe Raider. And now Battle Phase. And attack. Now you're down to one monster in defense position, but the thing is... You have three cards in your hand, you're about to draw another one, that's going to give you four. Even though I might have more life points, and it looks like on the field I have the advantage, I kind of don't because you have a lot more to work with. Hmm, put in defense mode, interesting. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and summon Giant Red Sea Snake and attack with both. Let's see what you got face down. Nimble Mamanga, oh Jesus Christ, that's not good. That's not good. Are going to summon one or two? One. Two. Here's a problem. You might actually have like a two tribute monster in your hand. And if you do, that's going to be a problem. Damn. That's not good. That is not good. This deck is still annoying with this giant germs and nimble among us. Freaking field swarming over here, man. This is crazy. I knew it. I freaking knew it. At least I have back to square one. What the hell is that? Is that your ace card? I think that's your ace card. I don't know what the hell this card does. I have I haven't even heard of it, man. I really haven't. Okay. I'm gonna draw. Luster Dragon. You can only activate this 
card during your opponent's battle phase. If you have two or more monsters on your field and they are all destroyed as a result of battle during the battle phase and sent to the graveyard, you may special summon this card from your hand. Oh. Damn. If you successfully special summon this card this way, declare it and face the monster reveal. This card. What the heck? Kind of interesting, but um, obviously you have to use this. You gotta discard my Luster Dragon to return your card back to the top of the deck. I get some direct damage now. So here's the thing, you're obviously gonna draw that monster again, but there's no way for you to summon it. So you basically have three more cards to work with, and I don't know what the hell they are. Okay, it's just a monster in defense mode. That's not gonna help for now basically like a Nightmare Wheel except the spell card version. Mystic Tomato, that's not good because now you contribute it. God damn it. So much field swarming, man. This deck is actually really good. Castle of Dark Illusions? Well, can't do anything else. I gotta end my turn. Marauding Captain. Your opponent selected do not activate, really. I guess you don't have a card in your hand because that would have actually been enough to kind of wipe me because you could have summoned an extra monster in the next turn you could have had enough. What the heck? Light of Intervention? Okay, that's fine. Um... Shit. This is, um, a problem here. Should I use... Ugh, I don't think it's worth it. I really don't think so. I'm gonna summon Do Name's Dark Witch. And obviously attack the Marauding Captain. Here's the thing, because your life points are almost down at 3100. If I use Mask of the Accursed on that Castle Dark Illusions, you know what? I don't think it's worth it, no. Because, like, I could basically burn you by doing burn damage, but I don't think it, it's gonna be the most convenient thing to do, right? Well. You know what? I'm gonna do it. I feel like I have to do it. It sucks that I did it one turn late. I'm also gonna keep this card in my hand, because I don't think... Like, like, what if I draw another freaking back to square one that I need, you know? It, it might be better in my hand. That's fine. Whatever. Who cares? You're gonna keep taking damage every standby phase. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and set this card. Well, actually, not set this card, sorry, defense mode this card, yeah, Light of Intervention is out, forgot. Okay, yeah, so you keep passing. That's fine, Hammer Shot, well, that's not really gonna work, because that destroys the highest face-up attack precision monster on the field. Not exactly gonna work, so I gotta pass, at least I'm getting some good cards in my hand, though, and you just keep passing and passing, so that's fine. Yep. Look at that. And you just keep getting burned. I'm glad I played Mask of the Accursed. However, I am going to set Judgment of Anubis. That could be useful if you try to destroy one of my spells and traps. That's right. Die by Mask of the Accursed. Die. Pot of Avarice. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And you still didn't put another monster. Huh. You know what? I will actually do this. It'll actually speed up the process a little bit. I'm gonna tribute... Tribute you. If I can discard a monster... I know you have that freaking... Come on, come on, come on. Damn it! Fuck. Well, should I attack? Or is it gonna be dumb? Oh boy. I could win the duel this turn if you don't have any face downs, but you know what? I'm not. No, no. I'm almost searching at a stupid card. Okay. Yeah, no, okay, that, that's fine. Use your swords. I mean, you're gonna get burned anyway with Mask of the Occur, so that's fine. Okay, and end the turn. 
damn it, I, I was supposed to discard a monster, that would have done some more damage to you, you know? Well, I'm kind of screwed though, because you're, but yeah, that's fine, but I have Hammer Shot, so that's okay. It was, I feel like you would have, I don't even know, man, I don't know. Also, you attack that one? Really? I mean, okay. You do you. I have Hammer Shot, so I'm fine. Dust Tornado. Wait, let me make sure your attack is, yeah, 2800, so you do have the most. Activate Hammer Shot, destroy that card. Obviously, I can't attack, but I can set this card. And. I mean, sure, I guess I'll put that card. Whatever. It's two turns. I could Dust Tornado it next turn, but is that worth it? I mean, I feel like it is. Okay. Um, I will Dust Tornado it. Okay, here we go. Blow that up. Uh, then go to attack mode. Here's the thing. If my attacks both connect and land, then I am actually good to go. And they all oh, negate attack. That's not that bad, actually. That's fine. That is not a very good card, technically speaking. Because all it does is negate one battle phase. That's okay. I have mage power. I'm fine. I'm fine. What the hell? Oh, what is that? Actually, I might not be fine. Crap, does that boost your attack? By 500, apparently. Okay. I'm still fine, because I have a card phase down, plus mage power, another 500. I can do plus 1,000. Yeah, okay. I mean, I thought you were... Okay, never mind, never mind. I guess I'm good. Yeah, it's the same. What is this? Uh, fairy time monster increased by 500 when the monster equipped with its card and inflicts battle damage to opponents increase for life points equal to... Oh, yeah. Wait, equal to what? Oh, equal to the damage you've done. Okay, it makes sense. Well... I believe what I have to do is summon you. And then give a mage power to... You know what? I'm going to do it to you. Because, actually... Because if he gets blown up, you know what? It makes more sense to do this. There's a good reason why. If he somehow has like a Sakura to armor and blows up this thing, this thing is not powerful enough to even tie it. So... I'd be in trouble, considering I have nothing left. That's all my resources. Okay, it was fine, regardless. Because he then Thestalos would have been destroyed by the, a trap card or something, and then Dark Blade would have been on the field with 1800 attack, and I'm screwed, because I have nothing else except Judgment of Anubis and Iron Blacksmith Kotetsu, so that would have been a problem, you know? Okay, that was a fairly challenging duel, I'm not gonna lie, um, but then again, these are tier 2 duelists, so it does make sense. I'm gonna try to do one more duel, I might go a little bit over time in this episode, actually, or a lot, who knows. I'm gonna take on... I'm gonna take on this this one. I know that I lost in the beginning of this freaking episode, man, for the other one, but I should have gone second again. Why do I keep going first accidentally? I'm not paying attention to this freaking thing.